Why, why Muslims believe in the ascension of Jesus Christ? How, could they, how have they come to believe okay. in that? First of all, again, let me point out that even Christians have no right to believe in any ascension because those verses of ascension, of, uh, those verses which refer somehow to ascension are from Luke, chap last chapter 12, uh, last 12 verses, Mark or also Mark, both. Mark and Luke, both are mentioned to have uh, spoken of ascension. And uh, it is now established after full investigations by Christian scholars that those last 12 verses, are they in Mark or in Luke? Mark. In Mark. But also in Luke there is a reference which I don't exactly remember. But the Mark, I'm positive, the last verses which allude to which refer to Jesus' ascension are proved to be spurious, finally and absolutely. So what right have they got to believe in ascension anyway? So the ascension idea of Jesus Christ found its way into the Muslim beliefs from Christian stories, I believe. And uh, what reason they had to accept those stories lay in the mention in a hadith or many hadith books, uh, many traditions by Hazrat Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi that uh, Jesus, son of Mary, would descend in the latter days. So they, these two ideas got mended into one. They received this, these stories from the Christian world that Jesus was seen ascending to heaven. So the concept of ascent was already there. But there was no mention of Jesus' ascent either in the Quran or in any tradition. But they found mention of this, of the descent of Jesus from the heavens in Hadith. Now, the word descent is used, which is the meaning of Nazala, or he made him to descend Anzala. And I have already spoken at length on this. The word Nuzul, when referred to animals and human beings, and when God is the one who causes the Nuzul, then without fail, the reference is to a special blessing related to these things. Never a bodily descent. So they had no right to believe in the descent as a literal descent either. And to base on that concept of descent, the idea of ascent is very far-fetched. To, to assume, because there, there is a descent is mentioned, there must have been an ascent. That's right. Yes. Now the Holy Prophet never mentioned any ascent. That's the interesting part. Hmm. He repeatedly speaks of descent but never ascent. But descent, the, when we say descent, it should not be understood in the connotation as it is understood by the Christians in application to Jesus Christ. Because descent is, the, is a term of the Holy Quran which strictly applies to such things as have very special benefit for the mankind. So the same for word nuzul has been used in the Quran in application to the, mm, what, what, what would you say, translators, uh, an arm? Cattle. cattle of all form, you know, and sheep, etc. Does the word cattle include sheep in English? That is why I hesitated. I wouldn't say so. It doesn't no. say. No. So there is not a single word to, for, as a translation for an arm. An arm applies to those quadruped who give milk and whose meat is also eaten and consumed. So they, are, they include sheep up to the camels. Mm. They are an arm. Mm. According to the Holy Quran, God made them descend. 
then there is iron you know iron yes. course, is so, ore iron yes. ore mm. the holy quran clearly mentions it that we caused the iron to descend then of course among the prophets there is the holy prophet of islam himself the holy quran uses exactly the same word of descent in application to hazrat muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam of all the prophets he is the one prophet who is chosen to be uh, uh, whose advent is chosen to be described with the word descent with no other prophet has been mentioned as descending except he the quran descended the books descend mm. now of all the books which are the best which are most beneficent and most uh, uh, you know useful for the mankind divine books mm. obviously so divine books are mentioned to have descended and uh, out of all things of all the minerals etc and the metals which one is the most useful for the mankind so it's iron iron obviously yes. so iron is mentioned to have descended and then again out of all the animals which have served the cause of humanity far more than other others cattle mm. and sheep and goats and camels and all these things and they are the ones among all the animals who have been singled out to have uh, spoken of as having descended so the meaning becomes very clear and obvious and ob- more obvious then you come to all the prophets as muslims of course we have no hesitation to say that all the prophets who all came for the benefit of mankind the one who excelled in this who was the most beneficent for the mankind was holy prophet of islam so in the quran there is no mention of jesus descending only one person one prophet of allah is mentioned to have descended and that is the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam so these muslims who believe in the ascent of jesus christ they have absolutely no reason no ground to believe because as i've told you their argumentation is based on the word descent and i have already exposed this word yes descent means this and the quran does not mention jesus christ to have descended the holy prophet is mentioned so when there is no ascent mentioned in the quran no ascent mentioned in the hadith no descent regarding jesus christ is mentioned in the quran then the meaning of the hadith would be understood in the light of the quranic terminology not in the light of any other terminology and that is simply this that in the latter days when jesus comes again in whatever form he comes he would have uh he would serve the most useful purpose for rehabilitating Uh, moral values and uh, divine values in the world right so what has it got to do with, with easter not very much not very much 